what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today's video i'm finally filming a maternity activewear haul now i'm super excited to be filming this because honestly being pregnant and finding activewear that fits and works and you feel comfortable and you're not like <laughs> weird it's hard okay so I'm super excited to share with you guys what's worked for me, what I'm liking. So without further ado, honestly, let's just hop right in. So I broke this video up into two different kind of categories. The first is clothes that I already had that are still working, like that I'm able to wear. And then the second category is new clothes that I've had to get that are like kind of more specific for pregnancy. So I'm going to start with the clothes that I had before I was pregnant that I just kind of can keep wearing. Starting out, I'm gonna start out with the Gymshark leggings that I wore before pregnancy and it still fit me now. So I've got the gray ombre seamless in a size small. I've got the camo leggings in a size small. And then I also have the original seamless in a size small. So the reason why these ones fit is because these are a size small. These were kind of big on me when I wasn't pregnant. Like I always had to roll down the waistband, I always had to hike them up. Like there was a lot of room to play and give in these. So these have been able to work with me throughout pregnancy. I just wore these original seamless to the gym and I'll pop up the picture here. 31 weeks pregnant, still can rock this to the gym. So it was nice. Because this was one of the original seamlesses from Gymshark, the waistband is super high. So I feel like if you have a size bigger on your seamless leggings from Gymshark, they might still fit you throughout pregnancy just because the band is high, covers your tummy, it's giving you support and you know you're feeling confident in the gym in these they're not like squeezing me in weird places where a lot of my other leggings are and that kind of brings me to these camo leggings these i don't think i can wear anymore they're a little bit too tight and if you can see it's kind of like making my belly bulge in a different way and it's giving me a little bit of pressure so i don't really like to wear these anymore but these were a solid staple for first and second trimester and and the beginning of my third trimester these gymshark camo pants were working pretty well but now i'm just a little bit too big where the waistband's not high enough to give me that full support that i need it's kind of cutting me off and making it a little bit uncomfortable and giving me some pressure and then the very last one is just the ombre seamless honestly these leggings have been one of my favorite forever i love 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 these leggings so i'm happy that these have still fit i've been able to wear them first second third trimester they're still working um the waistband is a little bit shorter so it does kind of give a little bit of a cutoff, but it's pretty good and I've got a lot of room and they're still pretty comfortable. So these are the three leggings that still fit me from the beginning of pregnancy till now. I did want to like address these leggings because I'm getting a lot of questions on my story like, oh, are these maternity leggings? And they're not. They're just normal leggings that I wore before pregnancy. They're still working now and I'm able to wear them ever so often. Next up is bras. This is just the ombre seamless bra from Gymshark. All of these still fit if they are a small. So I like to just wear these all the time. They are super stretchy. They give me a lot of room. And now for the most part, I'm wearing tank tops so you don't even see my bra. So it doesn't matter if they match. I'm just kind of wearing these all the time. I have a lot of extra small in Gymshark and none of that fits. Like not even trying to put it on. I just feel uncomfortable. I feel squeezed and it's just like no go. Okay. So the last things that I had before pregnancy that are working still are shorts. I have three different types of shorts that I'll share with you that have been working that I've already had. It's these like Nike shorts that I've had from track. I wear these all the time and I wear these on most days where I'm like not filming or if I'm going out for a hike or if I'm just gonna go do cardio at the gym I'm always wearing these shorts because they're just so comfy and I've had these from high school so I was a little bit bigger in high school to when I was like at my leanest right before I got pregnant so all of my old high school shorts fit I'm so happy I kept them it's awesome I also have this random pair of shorts that I got from Walmart and these are still fitting I love these shorts and I feel like every time I wear them people are like where are your shorts from they're seriously just from Walmart they had like underwear in them and I just cut the underwear out it is hot here in Arizona so shorts are a staple like I have loved these and if you need to get shorts when you're pregnant 
go to Walmart and buy it. Like these were five dollars or something. Go buy some cheap shorts from Walmart. Make yourself feel good. You're not spending a lot of money. You're not breaking the bank, but these fit before pregnancy. These are fitting during pregnancy, so I'm really, really lucky and happy. They are getting a little bit tight because my thighs are growing, so they're getting a little bit tight, but for the most part, you know, these are working. And then last but not least is the Lululemon Hottie Hot Short. I think these are the four inch ones. I'm still able to wear these all the time. Um, they are a little bit tight, like the blue ones all around my thighs. But for the most part, these fit and I wear them and they're great and I love them. I also have another pair of shorts from Forever 21 that I'm wearing. So I love shorts when I'm pregnant, just shorts with the tank. It's Arizona, it's hot. So I just kind of have been loving that combo. But those are items that I had already had going into pregnancy that still fit. But something that, you know, if you want some cheap shorts, go to Walmart. Just buy yourself a pair. They might fit you after pregnancy too. But like, be comfortable, enjoy what you're wearing. And all right, so now I'm moving into all brand new stuff that I have gotten since being pregnant. A lot of this stuff, actually all of it was gifted. Oh no, I bought those. Almost everything has been gifted to me, which has been really, really nice. But I'm being 100% honest with you, like I'm not gonna refer anything to you that I wouldn't actually have. Just because it's expensive trying to buy maternity wear. Like I have tried so hard to save all of my pennies and just not buy any like maternity active wear, just wear all my old stuff. But you get to a point where it's just uncomfortable and you feel so self-conscious in the gym because things are just like not hitting you right. So I'm just being 100% upfront with you guys. I am gonna start out with what I have bought and it is from Gymshark. Seriously, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that my feed is filled with these. I love Gymshark, I've always loved Gymshark, so I'm glad I was able to still like rep them and buy their clothes even while pregnant. These are Vital Seamless tank tops. I got the Vital Seamless just t-shirt. And then I also tried out a flawless knit tank top and I'll kind of talk to you about each of these. But I'm gonna start with just the Vital Seamless tanks. Honestly, these Vital Seamless tanks have been a lifesaver. I got a size, what is this, size small. So it's just these long tanks. They are super stretchy. They fit over your belly. They're giving you support. And when you're in those in-between stages of, do I look pregnant, do I not look pregnant? I feel like these are just kind of your best friend. They made me feel so confident and comfortable in the gym. So I got three different colors and I've just been rocking these. I also got the t-shirt in the Vital Seamless material. Um, I just kind of, some days you just want a little bit more coverage. You know, sometimes I'm just not feeling as confident in my arms. You know, I don't have that ripped tricep just bulging out anymore. <laughs> so I wanted something, you know, for those days where I'm feeling a little bit off. So I do love this. This is definitely not sweat proof. Like you can definitely see my sweat stains when I wear this. That does not bug me whatsoever. But I seriously love this t-shirt and I think it's cute. This flawless knit tank is a little bit much. Um, it's cute, but it's got these patterns and then you've got this in the back. It, it's just kind of a little bit much and it's also it also runs a little bit long where the Vital Seamless tank tops and t-shirt hit at a really great place on your belly. These are a little bit longer and I just kind of am not as big of a fan of the style, but it's still great. And I got this in a size medium, so maybe that's also why I feel like it's a little bit big or bulky and clunky on me. But it's still not bad, it's still cute and it works, but I definitely think the Vital Seamless is where it's at for like maternity pregnancy tanks, like your go-to 101 tank tops. They are the best. So, okay, so moving on to sports bras. Really, I've just been wearing all of my old sports bras that fit a couple from like high school that I randomly found or, or just bigger, bulkier sports bras because I'm not really rocking a sports bra and leggings to the gym as much. I'm wearing a lot of the tank tops so they're not shown as much. So I just kind of wear the same couple of bras that are fitting me. But I do want to kind of mention this bra from Balanced Athletica. It is not as supportive. So if you're doing like high intensity cardio, this isn't really the best bra. But I do have to say that this has really helped me feel super comfortable in the gym just because it's not squeezing me. The like, it, it goes really low on the side so I don't feel like I have like a bulge coming out of the back. Um, I do have a little bit of cleavage but it's not sucking in in a bunch of places and I still feel like it's cute. So I, do, I did want to kind of mention this one. And this bra might be fitting a little bit better because it is a medium so it is a size 
up it is very loose um and it's just surprising what happens to your body when you're pregnant your freaking boobs get huge so it's really nice to size up on a bra and have it be comfortable and movable so i'm loving that and then there are two bras from buff bunny that i've loved i have loved this sports bra since being pregnant i I love this bra, okay? It's a small, but it fits like a medium. I love the way Buff Bunny does their sizings because I don't know, it's just really comfortable. It covers me enough where I don't feel like I'm showing all my cleavage, but I still feel, you know, pretty in the gym. And it is high impact. I love, love the fit and the feel. So I've definitely rocked this all trimesters in the gym and I still love it. And it's a small, but it, it just fits great. It fits like a medium, honestly. And then this bra from Buff Bunny. I did just wear this bra to the gym and I absolutely loved it and I got a lot of comments on it too. But it is getting a little bit too tight on me, a little bit too snug. So I probably won't be wearing it too much anymore. But still, this would still work, you know, for a second trimester and then after pregnancy too. So it's definitely cute and it has a lot of support and it's not too booby so i really like that about it too moving on to tank tops there's really only one tank top that i have loved other than the gymshark tank tops and that is the one from patula i love this color i like the material when i have this on it does show like a little bit more than i would like like the material of gymshark you're not like seeing the outline of my belly button but with this one i am if i'm wearing shorts that like it's not sheer it's just the material it clings to a little bit more so I still love it. It fits great. You can tie it up real cute. Like I wore this in my um, at home pregnancy workout video. Super cute, flattering, adorable. But I do prefer the Gymshark tank tops over it just because of the material. But I still have loved this tank top and definitely something you can wear before pregnancy, during pregnancy, after pregnancy. So that's a win-win-win for me. And then last but not least are leggings. I have a pair from Balanced Athletica and then a pair from Petula. I did a whole separate Petula haul. You can go ahead and watch that, see more information on that. But I do love Petula's maternity leggings. They are specifically for maternity. Everything else in here is not maternity you know it's not like labeled as a maternity piece it's just something that i'm trying to make work so that you know i'm not wasting my money i'm still comfortable but i can still kind of wear it post-pregnancy as well but i've got to be honest these patula leggings are phenomenal so comfortable i wear them out and about i wear them to the gym they're very flattering they come up so high on your tummy they're giving you all the protection all of the stretch so they definitely are a staple if you're going to get like a maternity legging i definitely would get um patulas they're super soft and i just love the owner like she's pregnant herself and so she's so thoughtful to actually make these for us other girls out there you know what i'm saying and last but not least are balanced athletica leggings i think that these fit because they are a size up so these are regular leggings but they're a size medium so that they are fitting a little bit better a little bit more loose i can pull them all the way up over my belly but they're very comfortable they have the right amount of compression the right amount of support but they're not like giving me a bulge they're just really comfortable and soft and flattering so i've really loved those as well all right you guys so that just wraps everything up about this haul if you have any questions go ahead and just leave them in the comments down below i hope that this was helpful and with that being said if you like this video go ahead and give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video you can follow me on instagram for more and with that being said i will see you all in the next video bye